This is Riding Hungry, brought to you by Butler Lexus of South Atlanta. Steak. Hey. Are you ready for this? Hey, Amber. I'm so ready for this. Give it up. We're in the Lexus GX. What okay. do you think of this car? I think it is very luxurious right. and it's very spacious. It'd be great <laughs> for a road trip. So I'm just really excited I get to keep this at the end because I couldn't afford this car otherwise. Right, but so it's kind of like part of the series. We just do different models, but we gotta, we gotta bring it back. Well, then I, no, I can't serious. go eat with you today. No, nothing. <laughs> okay. I thought uh, you were like a big star. You have like one of the hit shows on television. They don't pay me much. I do it for free. Do you? Yeah. You I do was it? like, please let me be on the show. And you like, do okay. it because of the character Pam that you play on Archer, That's right? That's right, Pam Poovy. You meet somebody when you tell them that you're the voice of Pam Poovy. How freaked out do people get when they figure that out? They get really excited. excited. Really excited. People are like, oh like, my God, I love <laughs> Pam so much. So do they say like... Oh, now I can hear it, or they like... Yeah, it's because people don't really know what I look like. People will recognize my voice, and then they'll like Google me, right. and they'll be like, oh my God, oh it's, my it's God. Pam. How many years of Archer now? Season 12 is going to start airing soon. When I recorded the pilot, I didn't realize that after you do the pilot, that doesn't mean you got the job. Right. Because then you have to get network approval. Right. So all this was happening, and I didn't know, thank God, because I would have been a mess. It's like, let's replace that Pam girl, exactly. and we'll be good to go. Yeah, let's, pr let's, uh, let's have Pamela Anderson play that character. And you're like, great. But let's figure out, first of all, how a vegan in Atlanta ended up driving around in a big old SUV with a guy named Steak. I don't know. I, again, I thought I was going to get a car out of this, so right. I've already, Are, the wool's been pulled over my eyes, Steak. Uh -huh. And I'm actually, I'm telling you, I was a little worried because I, I was afraid that you might burst into flames if you walked into a vegan establishment. <laughs> well, this is a special one. Tell us where we're going today. So we're going to Slutty Vegan. Incredible restaurant that like blew onto the scene. World famous now. World famous now. It's so, so great. Pinky Cole's like a huge deal now. Yes, it's a right? black owned business. It's a woman owned business. I think that a lot of people have the misconception that vegans only eat like sad rabbit food. <laughs> But, but like like sprouts and yeah. salads and it's very depressing to very dine sad. with them. Yes. Yeah, no, I mean if I know in the past if you know you're going to dinner with a vegan, you just choose not to go right. to dinner with a vegan. That's you right. Feel, you get an excuse. Yeah. So slutty vegan, yeah. why'd you fall in love with this place? Um, because it has like insane burgers. Like that is one of the things about not eating meat. You're like, you don't get like a sloppy, juicy, right. like you don't get that experience anymore. Everything's kind of dry yeah. and it can taste good, but like they do it right. Like you get a big old burger, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. Do you think you could take real burger eaters who are connoisseurs, give them a slutty vegan burger because this is what you hear, yeah. give them a regular one and they won't be able to tell the difference? At times, yeah. How long have you been a vegan? I stopped eating meat when I was 19. You know, I just moved out of my parents' house and I wanted to rebel a little bit. Yep. And I, I never really liked meat. And you shake your finger at your parents and say, you meat eaters. Yes, absolutely. How dare you? <laughs> absolutely. I just stopped eating meat then, but I was still okay. eating dairy and eggs. Right. And veganism has, is fairly new. I've only been doing that for about a year. So let me, hold on a second. We can't have, you can't have any like cheese, like real no. cheese? No, no cheese. You can't have any ice cream? No, no animal products you whatsoever. Uh... Wow. But First of all, talk about the character Pam. Explain who she is and what she does. When I character. first read about Pam, the, she was described as the mousy director of HR, which is so not where the character is, yeah. is now. Um, she really kind of exploded into this insane character. Let's say you're some rich, fancy pants company who needs some professional spy shit done. Do you want the cold, hard tile feel of a big conglomerate like IIA? <laughs> I'd rather kill myself and take you with me. She likes to drink. She likes to have a lot of sex. She likes to get in fights. Yeah. Right. She loves cocaine. Right. She's got a very dirty mouth. <laughs> yep. But she's also like loyal to the end. Where did the voice come from? They didn't really want people to do character voices. They wanted people to do their own voices. I do, for Pam, the voice that I do when I'm talking as my mother. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to wear that? If people know Archer, what are the lines they want to hear from Pam? Oh, my boy. Lines. you got to give us so some. One of the big ones is, holy shit snacks. Tell me about doing all this improv at Dad's. So Dad's Garage has been around since 1997, I think. Right. It's an improv theater. We do comedy every weekend. And what makes it so fun going to Dad's? I think it's because the comedy is totally insane. You never know what you're going to see. Right. It's all improvised. We do scripted shows too, but most people come to see our improv. So give me an example of what an exercise that we would go 
through it. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna tell a story. Yeah. But we can only say one word at a time, and you and I are gonna tell the story together like we're one person. Okay. Okay. So. Yep. Today. I went underneath the bridge and discovered a ugly little rat. He was very frail and tired. So I picked him up and kissed him on his little mouth and I gave him a slap. <laughs> Don't ever kiss that mouth again. <laughs> How did we do? We did great! Archer, you can do right from Atlanta, right? So you don't yeah. have to worry about travel. They make the show here in Atlanta, but if I'm like in New York working or if I'm in LA, yeah. they will record me from anywhere. Have Central. you ever been to one of those auditions where like literally there's three people staring at you, you do one line and they go, thank you very much. Oh, 100%. How nerve wracking is that whole scene? Oh, it's terrible. Like auditioning for me is the worst thing in the entire oh my world. God. And it's, it's just the job. You have to do it all the time. So speaking of terrifying, I think we're almost ready to go to a vegan restaurant with a guy okay. named Steak. Right? Please don't tell anybody your name when we get there, okay? You talk about uncomfortable. <laughs> Thanks. So, yeah. tell me what you have. I got the one night stand. Yeah. It's got the impossible burger. It's got bacon, caramelized onions, slut sauce, which don't ask too many questions. And um, tomato lettuce. Pretty simple. What do you got? So I got the Hollywood hooker. Mmm. Wow. I would not in a million years know this was a vegan. Isn't that the no, thing? No chance. So instead of killing all those cute cows, now you can at least have hamburgers. Wow. They don't know the difference. My husband loves them too. But the sauce is ridiculous. Isn't it so good? It's a good, you know, mm. nice bite. burger. You get to have that whole experience. No, totally. How great is it to be able to experience the kind of the pageantry of eating a burger and not eating one? Again, it's been a long time since I've eaten meat. Yeah. But it tastes like beef as far as I remember. It's like juicy. It's really juicy. Yeah, and they use Hawaiian buns, so it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I love the Hawaiian buns. Well, I don't think there's anything you could order and go wrong. Tell me about the movie that you're making. We're gonna be shooting a feature length film. My husband wrote it. It's called How to Ruin the Holidays. It's all about a struggling comedian that goes home for Christmas and her family it. is just a mess. She's got a brother with special needs. Her dad's like a like a doomsday prepper. Everything's oh, I, going to shit. I love that. Mm. It sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. So you took a guy named Steak yep. to a vegan restaurant. I think it went pretty well. I think it went very well. <laughs> Other than we were really lost. It was like a bad improv. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. It wasn't that funny. No. Wasn't nobody funny. laughed. Nobody was laughing. <laughs> I, was, I was laughing a little. Hey, thanks for riding hungry. Well, I'm not riding hungry anymore. Riding Hungry is a partnership between Atlanta Eats and Butler Lexus of South Atlanta. Butler Lexus provides the finest quality cars and an outstanding service department. Check out a brand new Lexus today.